that's right, my hair, it's a mess. What little I have left, it's going away from me, and I accept that. But we're not here to talk about this. I just woke up. Only one kid of mine is awake. I wanted to do a video yesterday. In fact, I had a friend contact me and tell me that if I didn't do a video yesterday, that he was going to rape me. And uh, if you knew who this friend was, he would be better off saying, if you do a video today, I'm going to rape you. Because it would have probably got done, because he's pretty sexy. His name's Nathan. You know who you are. Anyway, so I thought I woke up. Uh, I didn't get the chance to do the video yesterday because my kids were going crazy. I had to have a tea party and all that sorts of things. And when your two-year-old daughter says, let's have a tea party, you have a tea party. That's just the way it goes. All right, so we're going to talk about a couple of tanks today, but mainly the iClear 30. I have it all in pieces for you right now because I'm going to change out flavors. Um, Copper Creek House Blend. Mm, can you see it there? Mm, that is a lot of goodness right there. This is my favorite vape. I vape this all day long, for the most part. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have like five, six tanks at all times, and, and uh, you know, I, I'm always changing up the flavor, but by far the most, you know, if I had to pick one, this is it. And... So let's just get right into this. Um, I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the Vivinova because they're similar um, in the way that they vape using wicks. Here's the difference. Vivinova, which I love, um, my son is sitting right here because he can't seem to not be here when I'm doing a video, but hey, whatever. Anyway, here's your Vivinova tank. Now, this one has a few extra wicks. Um, some of them only have one wick out of each side. I don't know. It's hard. There's lots of knockoffs out there. They all seem to work pretty good, though. You know, it's some people I've heard get bad ones. I haven't yet. They, they all seem to work for me. So that's your Vivian overhead, okay? It's simple as that. Coming out either side. Here is the iClear 30 head. There's a lot more wicks. Maybe like this would be better. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you've got a total coming out of each one of these, four, four on each side. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen wicks. Uh, Grim Green loves these. P. Bissardo loves these. Uh, in fact, uh, P. Bissardo was obsessed with the Vivinova. Okay, and, uh, and I understand why. The Vivinova is, to me, is just old faithful. It works. All, always. You get a hot vape, cool vape, warm vape, whatever you're looking for, wicks well hardly ever get a burning taste. Uh, anyway, and Grimm said he had no problems with wicking issues on this. Well, the reason I showed you the Copper Creek House Blend, I th I'm, th I'm thinking my problem is, is of course the favorite flavor of mine, and it's not like I'm the only one that this is the favorite flavor. I mean, this thing took awards. This thing was the most popular juice, I think, in 2012. Uh, that the, you know, This was the most popular juice on the market. So I'm not obviously not the only one. But I like a warm vape, and, you know, that's just me. But I like the intensity that the warm vape will give me. I find it gives me more flavor. Um, I like the sensation of the warm vapor hitting my tongue and in the mouth, and I tend to get a little more vapor. But that's just me. But I also think, uh, after a lot of trial and error, I have spent the most time on this iClear 30 tank than anything I've ever spent time on to review, because I really wanted to test this fully to, to be able to give a fair and honest review on this. Now, I find with the iClear using the house blend that I do not find with the Vivinova tank is that um, I get I do have wicking issues okay um, I get a lot of muted flavor it's not quite as full as it is in a Cardo tank or a Vivinova problem is with a Cardo tank with Copper Creek House Blend is I have to, to literally change out the dang cardomizer like every two days and you know it starts getting clogged and things like that you know and you know some people uh, a good review I saw the other day a guy said you stick a paper clip up through the center of your cardomizer and that'll clear it out for you so I tried that and that's a great trick and it did help on some other uh, issues uh, but 
not not this Copper Creek House blend, not that particular time. I did have to change out the cardo, which is fine. So I clean my cardamizers anyway, and uh, you know I'll just save them up, you know, and in a little bag. And after I've got 10, 15, whatever, then I clean them. How do I clean them? I use the syringe method. I bought one of them little syringes. I don't have it right here in front of me. I'm not going to go get it. It's just a syringe, okay? And it has a little uh, rubber tube uh, that you goes on the end of the syringe where your needle would go. Also has a needle too if you want to use that. But uh, and it slips right onto your, uh, you know, your cardamizer. Do I have one in here? Of course not, because my daughter has been into my vaping stuff and spreading it all over various cupboards throughout the house. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you just sticks right onto the cardamizer. You boil up some water, and um, uh, when it's boiling, you plunge up the uh, syringe in, uh, with the boiling water. You see the syringe fill up with this brown, yummy water that comes from your cardamizer. Spray it into the sink, and you just keep doing that till it goes clear. Do that with each cardamizer. I boil them at that point for about 15 minutes to a half hour, or whatever. I make sure that the water is nothing but water at that point, which it almost always is because the uh, syringe method works well. You can Google it. I'll try and find a link and maybe post it on here for you. After I boil them, I use a fan, a regular household fan, because a lot of people have asked me how I clean my cardamizers. That's why I'm going to just take the time to explain this. Um, you know, in the fan, uh, like down in my room, I have a fan, you know, the, the little grill on the front, the cardamizers, you can generally find a spot in that grill where you just literally stick them, you know, the cotton side uh, mouth end towards the fan. You can stick them in there and lodge them into that plastic grill. Turn on the fan for like two, four hours of the day, leave it alone, whatever, and uh, that dries them out completely. Um, and then what I'll do to just for extra protection is I'll preheat my oven to 170 degrees. Uh, I'll stick the cardos in there on a baking sheet, turn the oven off, and I'll just let it sit for the day, rest of the day or the night, and then they're good to go. Then they're already punched because I've punched them, and that is convenient. All I got to do is uh, fill them, so make sure you keep your condoms around, cardo condoms, and uh, invade. And it works great, I gotta say, you know. And I'll also run the uh, paper clip. I'll check to make sure I can see through them, you know, down the center post of them every time uh, as I'm cleaning them. And if I can't, then I do the paperclip method, uh, and uh, you run the paperclip down there, and it works great. The other thing you can do is uh, stick a little like sewing needle through the little air holes where they're threaded in to make sure they're good and cleared out. Those are things that are often overlooked. Now that I've wasted time talking about Cardos for some reason, uh, I just got on the subject, and that's just how I roll. Anyway, so I find that I get the muted flavor. I also find burning issues, wicking issues with the Copper Creek House Blend. I tried some Boba's Bounty in here, though, as well. Boba's Bounty. And, um, you know, it performed better. And it leads me to believe some of the problems, you know, like like I say, a lot of flavors through a Cardo for me will last a couple weeks in that Cardamizer. It's amazing. But this dang Copper Creek House Blend, I don't know if it's the sugars, I don't know what it is that's in this. Because it's not completely dark, as you can see. You know, a lot of people have problems with dark juices. And, yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's darker than, than some, but here's Boba's, and it's not too different. I don't know. There's something about Copper Creek House Blend. So I'm not going to blame the iClear 30. I'm going to blame Copper Creek House Blend. And uh, it's just, unfortunately, it is my favorite juice, and it's something that I'm just going to have to get used to. You know, it's just, uh, you know, it might be a little bit more of a pain, but, hey, is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. But the Vivinova, I never have those problems with. It's old faithful, like I say, trusty. You know, it just works every time. I can get it hot. So, here we go. Why don't we talk about this iClear 30 a little bit more. You're going to have your wicks. You know, it's going to come to you in, like, a plastic thing, and you can get them for $14.95, or like $12.95. They seem to go for like $12.95 to $14.95. The website that has them for $12.95, I think, is discountvapors.com, and they're sold out of them. And the other one uh, I will put in the uh, in the description. Um, they do have them, the one for $14.95. Maybe uh, let me just see if I can pull them up here. iClear 30, and it is Vapor Beast, good old vaporbeast.com. And uh, where I got my cardamizer, slap your mama punch tool, I'm pretty sure, uh, cardamizer tool. Yeah, so Vapor Beast has got them for $14.95, and they do have them in stock right now. 
um, fourteen fifty. I'm wrong. Fourteen dollars and fifty cents. And then if you need a pack of heads, uh, those will run you fourteen ninety nine, and that's a five pack. The heads seem to last. Okay, I have used this thing uh, uh, enough to know that. Um, okay, so I've screwed the head onto here. This is the base, and it just screws right on. As you can see, you know, you just got your little threaded end there. It's kind of nice too, because it's just, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever. Kind of see that there. Uh -oh. Screw around there tight, and you're left with this. At that point, what I like to do, and I do this with any wicking system. Um, here, uh, we're going to go with Boba's Bounty in this one. I've decided I'm going to put my Copper Creek House Blend back into a good old Vivi Nova tank, and I'm going to go with the Boba's Bounty because it seemed to perform a lot better in here. I always do this uh, to make, you know, because like I've said in other videos, the object, everything is the same essentially. You're heating up the juice to make it a vapor. So you want to keep all your coils as wet as possible at all times because the more you do that, um, the longer it's going to last, you know. You try not to get the burning flavors and stuff like that. You don't, and you, and you don't want to burn anything out. If it's dry, it's going to burn, and once it's burnt, it's pretty hard to recover from. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and you can kind of get it to come out of it, um, but most of the time you can't. Um, I like to shake up all my juices because there's. I've noticed, especially with PG versus VG, um, though I think they separate. Because the PG is responsible for more throat hit, VG is responsible for more of the vapor. Some people call it, uh, even though it's vegetable uh, glycol, some people call it vapor galore. Because, uh, yeah, it just is more responsible for uh, for producing the vapor. And it'll also, on your sweeter juices, a little more VG tends to be pretty good because it seems to give a little bit more sweetness or smoother edge to it or something like that. I feel like we're talking about a fine wine here, which we kind of are because Boba's Valley is pretty good. And... Uh, so anyway, I do this with my Vivinovas, and I do it any wicking system that you've got your coils down in that area. I wish I could get this thing to focus where you could really see these coils. Um, yeah, and this is kind of a used one. I just washed it off. I just run everything under uh, warm water. I blow it all out, blow on it as good as I can, and then I uh, you know, use paper towels and dry it all off. So I literally drop a drop. I'm going to stand up and do this. Um, right into the middle there, at least one drop, sometimes two, um, and that one's good. So that's down there, it's going to saturate it. And then I take it, and around each of these wicks, I'm going to give it just a little something, something, just a little loving, you know, a little bit of sexy, you know? Yeah, just like that. I'm going to try to keep this on camera. It's hard to look at the camera and then look at what you're doing at the same time. It's always a challenge. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of take it easy, you know, just kind of keep dropping drops just to get that wicking process started so the chances, you know, of, of it burning are pretty much zero. I might give it just a little bit down that center again. Drop, 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 drip, drop, drip, drop. All right. <coughs> Man, I am looking sexy. Look at me. Hmm. Speaking of just waking up, everybody got your coffee? Mm. Don't judge me by that, okay? I have a dog, too. Okay? That, and she's my favorite. All right. So, comes with a little rubber cap, much like the Vivi Nova. You got two... Let's see if I can show this to you. Yeah, you see that little groove cut out there? Got that? Yeah? Mmm. If you'll look here, you'll see... Two sets of these wicks are higher than the other. Obviously, the cut is going to go on. <laughs> it's so hard to do this on camera. You're going to do that on the uh, on the higher wicks, so it surrounds the wick. I'll have that. Let me see if I can get this here. This is this part's kind of difficult because. It's like putting a condom on a cardamizer, essentially, only it's even tougher. Okay, I got it. And then you end up with that, okay? So it's already good and saturated. We don't have to worry about anything burning, no matter what I do. Well, almost no matter what I do. At that point, here's your tube. Now, this is a plastic tube. It would be nice if this was glass, but obviously plastic's cheaper. Um, 
but you have to be careful because everything else is metal on this, which I love. Um, I'm going to make sure it's right side up. This holds three milliliters of liquid, and that is the max, they say. The other thing is, is the wicks are a little bit long, okay? I'll find that as I'm putting this down, the wicks will kind of hang out out here, so i got to kind of mess with it to kind of make sure they're in there good. Did I? Oh, I totally put it on upside down, which is no big deal. Okay, well, unscrew it. So obviously it's a 510 connector on both ends. There we go. don't have a paper towel with me which isn't like me I would wipe that 510 connector off a little bit okay yeah, and you can kinda of see how some of that is see how that's coming out there that's why you gotta mess with it a little bit and uh, to get it to, to you know not thread the wicks now remember we got plastic we got metal so you have to be careful do not do not cross thread this or you're screwed spin her around until she's tight Sometimes, you know, because as you're, I find it that, you know, because I'm spinning it tight, the wicks will kind of get that swirly action. Sometimes I'll kind of give it a little quick fallback to try to straighten it out, which has never worked. So I don't know why I'm even saying, saying that. <laughs> All right. Um, Boba's Bounty. Mmm. Good tobacco flavor. Anybody out there who hasn't tried it, you can get it from Alien Vision or something like that, I think it's called. Um, and you can only get it in the morning, so you have to, like, literally be there between the hours of 8 and 11. Ooh, my daughter's awake now. <coughs> you have to do this between, like, 8 and 11 a.m. Uh, to get this stuff, but you can get it. And it's good stuff, and it's really affordable. It's cheap. Okay, and it's really thick juice. This is 100% VG, but yet somehow it has awesome, awesome throat hit. And as I, like, as I'm feeling these, I, I rotate around, okay, to try to get the juice to run over the wicks as I'm filling them. It's just something I have naturally come up with. And I'm filling it, I'm filling it, and I just keep going around and I just keep giving little squirts, trying to let it go over all those wicks until it's full. And I'm gonna call that full enough. It's just under the, the, the line. There is a line up here that says max. So don't fill this to the top, otherwise you've got juice running down your center tube and down onto your uh, post, onto your device. And then you've got real problems. It doesn't work out so well. Okay, and then, last but not least, once again, do not cross thread this. This one's very easy to do so. Feel it out, and if you feel something doesn't seem right, it should be nice and smooth. Um, then stop, take it off, start again. Okay? And it's on there. At this point, what I like to do, of course, I don't have my freaking mod in front of me. Let me grab it. <clears throat> At this point, what I like to do, usually, if I'm not doing this on camera, I'll just let this sit for a good half hour. You know, not that long. What am I saying? Half hour. 15 minutes, something like that. And I'll sit there and I'll even do this. I'll kind of tilt it a little bit. With this device, I find you don't want to tilt it too much because it'll run into the center post. Um, but yet I have to do the tilty thing. Anytime that you've got something like the waking system, you're doing the tilty thing a lot to make sure things stay good and, and dry. And I'll just sit there and I'll do this. And, and I'll hum. And then... You know, just to know that the wicking is good. Be careful with your threads. When you're screwing devices onto your devices, I tend to try to hold it up a little bit, just a little bit, and to make those as buttery as possible, just to try to save my threads a little bit. I've had more than one device that I've stripped out the threads and uh, ruined and the center post. Now, see, look at the gap there. I want you to. I want you to see that. Can you see the gap between? this and this, there's a good gap there. I could screw that down more, okay, but I'm not going to because it's firing. Maybe. Now I just turned it off. <laughs> Turn it back on. There we go. Make sure. And I've got this on watts so it saves. And it is working. And, uh, you know, even with that gap, like I say, I could screw that down more. And a lot of people, you're surprising how many people do. They'll just wrench on it until it's tight. Well, then your post 
pushes down and eventually you can't screw anything onto it that fires anymore and you gotta pull your post which is a pain and it's like to me even though it works it's never quite the same after that once you've pulled your post in my opinion it's never quite the same so I tend to you know it's loose right now and I'll go down 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 and I feel resistance right now I'm stopping I don't need to go anymore I know it's making contact and it is firing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it you know it vapes boba's bounty pretty good. I'm gonna bring it up to 11 watts. Look at all that vapor, and I can get a pretty warm vape. Not as warm as I can in a Vivianova tank. There's nothing I can put in here and get it as warm as the Vivianova tank without burning it. But with Boba's Bounty, it's really good. That's, that's all the warmth I need. I'm satisfied with that. With Copper Creek House Blend, I'm not. Um, I tend to be able to not get those dry hits with this, uh, with the Boba's Bounty. And it works good, i got to say. For a long time there, I didn't like this thing, okay? I, I kept comparing it to the Vivinova. I didn't like it. But I refused to give up because, for me, if Grim Green likes it, I've got to like it. There's got to be something good about it. And then I thought, well, maybe I got a bad one. Well, then I discovered the old uh, version of this uh, uh, of this was this. Okay, looks a little different, but it's the same idea. And there's a wick in there. These were okay, not near as good as the new iClear 30s. And uh, the other thing about it is, here's one from this old system. The wick on this. See that? Uh, you only got four wicks there. They're good and stout and thick, but you don't have the 16, and that must be the biggest difference, I'm guessing. And I I think when I first got the iClear 30, I loaded it up with my, you know, I'm always looking for a better way to vape this, that I'm, you know, I'm not changing my Cardos out every couple of days, and the Vivinova just seems to be the, the where it's at for that, because I, I can make a Vivinova head last, you know, sometimes a month on vaping it constantly, but I'm careful, you know, I, the minute that I taste a touch of burnness or dry, I immediately let off the button and I immediately suck a little bit more and give it a blow and stuff to immediately try to cool things down as much as I can, you know, and it, it seems to work. Um, I have noticed a difference, but these old heads are interchangeable with this. And I think when I very first got this, I tried to vape my Copper Creek House Blend like I wouldn't have even know, but going that, going for that hot vapor, and uh, I burn it, okay, and I couldn't get it to come out of it. After that, everything it, it would burn so easily. Everything was dry hits, you know, scratchy kind of burny flavor, and I think I screwed up and accidentally put one of these in. I just didn't even think about it. I don't know what. And then it was never good, okay. And um, but I refused to give up, and I, I got into all my vaping stats, which which is a big cluttered mess and um, I found the new heads uh, that I had two packets of two different heads and I realized oh no wonder so I put a brand new 16 wick head in and it was immediately better okay and then I decided okay it's still not as good as a Vivinova for a Copper Creek House Blend for me so I put Boba's Bounty in there and I vape on that for pretty much the whole day and it worked great compared to the Copper Creek House Blend. So some juices, the moral of this long, drawn-out story like I always do, I'm sorry, is some juices you might find don't work so well in here compared to a Vivinova if that's what you uh, tend to vape or, or if you like a warm vape. If you like a cool vape, you're never going to have any problems with this with the exception of, in my opinion, the flavor on a lot of things get just a touch muted on here, okay? It's not as strong as the good old Vivinova. All right, that being said, let's pay attention. And that's it. I, I think this is a good device, and I'm glad I have it. Will I buy another one? No, I think one is all I need. Uh, I've got Cardo tanks for everything else that I'm you know, pretty much a number one fan of. Um, I'm always just trying to find something, like I said, for this Copper Creek House Blend, which I think is always just for now until something new and wonderful comes out, is going to be the Vivinova. And while we're on the Vivinova talk now, um, let's go ahead and go to the Vivinova for a second, okay? Uh, and I'll fill it up 
I've just cleaned this out, ran everything under warm water, dried it with paper towels, blew things out, and uh, um, I've got a new used head here that, uh, that I'm going to put in. Here's your base of your Vivinova tank, okay? Base, plastic tube, and your top of that. I've got a chrome, a little short chrome drip, trip, drip tip on. There's another little trick Something I'm, while I'm on that subject. These little short guys, I love the look of uh, little chrome drip tips. And uh, shorter ones are cool because that is less travel time from the vapor into, you know, where the vapor vapes into a vapor and then travels to your mouth, which is easier to get a warm vape at a little bit lower voltage, which takes care of your coil because, let's face it, the lower you have your voltage and the wetter you keep your coils, the longer everything is going to last, including your battery. All right, anyway, so we have that. Here's the head. I'm going to screw it on there. I'm going to get my Copper Creek House Blend. I'm going to shake it up, get all the ingredients mixed well, including the PG and VG. I'm going to drop my drop here again. And I see a drop right there. That's good. I'm going to give it a little bit on the wicks. Perfect. If it runs down the sides, that's okay. The, the bottom end will catch it. And then we're going to put our little rubbery thing on. Make sure... Simple as that. Take a look, make sure it's correct, and it is. Put your tube on. Very similar to the iClear 30, only just like a little smaller version, I guess. And we want to fill it first. And I do the same thing. Run one side, till about half full over that wick. I turn it around, and I run this one over the other wick. And that's good. Full. Fill it up to where it's just underneath where the wicks go into the uh, center post there. And I can go just a little bit more in there. Okay. And then usually I'll do the same thing with this. I try, you know, I, you don't want to strip them threads. Start off counterclockwise and then try to find those threads and then you want it buttery. Don't cross thread it. Alright. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll sit here and kind of make sure that wicking, I like to let it last. You know, I usually do that a little longer, but uh, since we're doing a video, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and I've got resistance. I'm going to give it a little fire. Oh, yeah. Hear that? A little different, isn't it? A little definitely louder, a little more crack, a little more sizzle than the iClear 30. But I like the look of that iClear 30 much better. And the iClear 30 also has this swiveling 510 connector which is nice because you'll find that you get a lot of condensation in your mouth as you're doing the tilty thing as you're vaping, which I don't find as much in a Vivinova as I do with this. But you also cannot change that out. This is what you got, and that's it. That's all you get. There ain't no changing out your drip tips, okay? But it still looks good. I mean, this really is a sexy-looking device. Whereas a Vivinova, yeah, it looks okay, I guess. But, I, I, you know, I like the looks of this one better. I was hopeful that it would make my copper cream better. But anyway, so I'm going to turn this down to 10, 9, you know, start off at lower wattages, okay, or voltage. Uh, when you've got a brand new device, it, those coils need a little bit of a break in time, okay. Just, a, it's pretty short, okay, it, really, I mean, maybe a half a tank. And just start off with a lower to make sure, you know, then you can start working it up if you like a warm vape. Of course, if you're maybe more normal and you like a cooler vape, uh, you don't have to worry about any of this. Makes me wish I liked cool vape. All right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <coughs> and I should have started off lower than that because that was a pretty warm vape, which is cool. This is uh, what is this thing? 2.8 ohm head is what this is, I guess. And what I find with these Vivinovas, you know, is like you saw me going like this, I can literally do that, and I almost never get anything in my mouth there. If you get a genuine one, it has to be a genuine Vision Vivinova. Don't get the knockoffs. And people will sell them as Vision Vivinova. Type in genuine Vivinova and make sure you get a good one. I've had problems with these being sold out. Uh, 
Um, Rick at Vapor Alley used to have them. Uh, he's been sold out for the longest time. I was just on GotVapes.com. They're sold out until further notice. I don't know what's going on there, but I know there are sites that still have them available, um, supposedly. And, and uh, I guess I'll have to order one. But. So... That's what I got on that, I guess. I know I don't really know what else to say. Um, I'm still, I can't help it. I'm, to me, I'm a little bit more of a fan of the Vivi Nova than I am the iClear 30. I love the idea of the iClear 30. I love the looks. I like everything they're going for, but for me, I just tend to get a little bit too much of dry hits now and then and a little bit of muted flavor, in my opinion, even on the Boba's Bounty. But this performs Boba's Bounty just fine, and I will keep it, and I will vape Boba's Bounty in this exclusively. So it's definitely good enough for that. Um, so it's up to you. If you've got the money, you want to try it, give it a shot. And you may have a better luck than uh, I have. For all I know, maybe I got a uh, maybe I got a bad one, you know, I, or you know, one that doesn't perform as well. Just like our beloved cardamizers, every once in a while you get that one that's just like, wow, why can't every card be this awesome? Um, but yeah, that's it. That's what I got for you. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna post this now, and I'm sorry it's rambling pretty long, like all my videos do. I just do a lot of oh, yak 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 yak. Let's have a bake together. Um, here we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day because you are in charge of your own day. You can be as happy as you want to be. It's all right here. Start off by being thankful for something when you first wake up every morning, and it'll be a better rest of your day. And uh, I love you. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Next time.